What's going on guys? Drones and dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> All right guys, so today we're gonna be doing another follow-up flight. Believe it or not, uh, my last video with this, I had a lot of comments and a lot of inquiries about me wanting to fly this again. A lot of people wanted me to test fly it again. Said, uh, uh, I don't know, this was I had a body pain right there. A lot of people said that, that they had problems with theirs. Some said theirs flew flying. Some said they had problems. So I'm just gonna get back out here and just do another quick test flight with this bad boy. This is the Voyage Aeronautics VA 2080 mini foldable drone that I got from Walmart, you guys. So it's a little folder. You fold it out like so. And it has um, power switch here and a rear. It has an LED light up front, white LED up front, and a red in the rear. No camera or nothing. Does have altitude hold. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing, bro? Too bad. Doing? Turn on the on and off switch. Do up now. So now you are bound with the drone and the remote, you guys. So you do have a couple features. You got stunt, which is your 360 flips. You have a uh, speed, which is your rate button. You have automatic takeoff and you have your traditional trim buttons right here. So I think we can automatic take off with this. There we go. That's it. That's the drone holding its height right there. I'm just combating the wind. So I'm not really, lost a little altitude there. Let me raise it up. So altitude hold means you don't have to play with the throttle as much, you guys. It essentially hold itself in the air. You just gotta combat the wind and the breeze calm down. So it's holding its own altitude. Like I said, you just gotta combat the wind. So I'm not messing with the altitude at all. Get it over here. See that? Not touching the altitude, it's holding his own altitude. Not touching it. Look at that. So, fly this guy around. This is the first rate we're flying in. So if you hit this start button, guys, if you press it and pick, pick a direction on the right stick, it will flip it. A lung press it. I think. Let me see, let me get over here. Uh, my flip button is not working right now at the time my stunt button I wonder if I Dropped this remote or jammed it or something Yeah Currently there we go Say my flip button was not working so you just short press the flip button then you just pick pick a direction on a stick And it'll flip you guys for a second. It wasn't working. I think it might have been stuck or something See and it just flips you just pick a direction and it will flip so I think for the price, guys, and being that this guy came from Walmart, you really can't beat it. So we are in the second rate. Let's go to the third rate with the wind picking up. Since the breeze picked up, we're gonna be in the third rate now. And we'll be all right. We should be all right with this breeze. Look at that. Pretty zippy in the third rate. And then that white LED up front helps with the orientation. Cause you know the white is the front and then you know the red is the rear. Let's get on over here. Flashing. This is a good flyer. I haven't had any complaints with mine, especially with it being only 20 bucks. Uh, I said, like I said, only uh, which is not really a complaint for me. It's just only thing I think that they could have did to improve it was not have it embedded battery like. They should have made like swappable batteries. They should have made it where you could have took, took the battery out, recharge it, and pop another one in. That way you can continu continuously fly because this one has an embedded battery. So once that battery is dead, you got to wait and you got to charge the drone before you can fly again. You can't just pop another one in and fly again. So I guess that would be my only like gripe or I wouldn't want to say really complain. Other than that, it flies good. But most of these mini drones have the little embedded battery. Not all of them, but most of them do. 
So kind of like when that battery's dead, you kind of like done with it. You gotta just chuck it away. And this thing still flies great, man. Still. Look at that. Yeah, and it's pretty zippy. Pretty zippy. Look at that. Quite a few people commented on my last video of this guy saying, hey, mine was not flying good, mine flew away, mine did this. So I just wanted to show you guys, this thing does fly great. I've had no issues with mine. And I know a couple of people did say that they, they theirs, theirs flew fine too and that it flew great, good little drone. So I mean, it is what it is, I guess with it. But it's mine. I haven't had any complaints with it. Hey, look, we're fighting in some breeze. We're flying in some wind here. Yo. And for how small it is, surprisingly. This thing has a decent flight time too. It honestly does. The breeze is kicking up too, pal. You know, some little drones do okay in wind though. You can fly little drones in wind as long as you know how to fly in wind. Look at that bad boy go, he's flying. <laughs> what you see is what you get, guys. Look, here comes the breeze. It's breezy, it's quite breezy. Yo. Flashing, trying to bring this bad boy in. Where it's Eric Nautix, guys. V8 2080 mini drone for Walmart. As you can see, this guy flies great. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Your boy, Jones the Dogs. Catch you guys in the next episode. I am out. Deuces.